today I'm doing something a little bit different. My first episode review for Dragon Ball Super. And after watching this episode, it was too amazing to pass it up. And me personally, this episode was one of the perfect embodiments of the Dragon Ball franchise. I loved it from start to finish. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Now for starters, what do I mean by the embodiment of a Dragon Ball franchise? I mean, it had everything that we loved about Dragon Ball Z. With the beam struggle between Goku and Zamasu, I mean, that's one thing that we, that Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z just had, well, mainly Dragon Ball Z, that's what we loved about it, the beam struggles, both of the characters using their strongest, or their signature moves, like, for example, a Kamehameha, a Gallic Gun, you know, just firing it, just watching it, just go back and forth, which is really nostalgic, and I just enjoyed that part a lot, I mean, Goku just saying, I ain't gonna lose, hey, with Zamasu going at it, that's one of the things that I love the most, I'm actually happy that we got to see a beam struggle between these two in the fight, and after that, we also, yo, this might be minor, but when Goku's arms were, I guess, broken and he still was fighting, that part just looked so sexy. No homo, no homo. That part just looked so amazing because, like, I don't know, it just felt real. It just felt, it just felt so raw. Like, that was so dope how Goku, he was fighting with his arms broken and he just, still, like, that was just one of the most, that, that part was just so amazing to me. I like that part a lot. And he used the Kaioken, uh, the, the Kaioken with the Super Saiyan Blue again. He was actually able to overpower the monster. Like, that part might be, that might part, that part might be overlooked by a lot of people. But to me personally, that was one of my favorite parts just because it just looked so real and genuine. It was just, it was an awesome idea. Yeah. But yo, I definitely gotta say that the part that I was most shocked about was the Zamasu uh, Immortal Explanation. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the purple slime in the previews, I was wondering, okay, Zamasu is supposed to be immortal. Why is this happening? This is a little bit of BS, but the way how Gowasu explained it was perfectly. The fact that he had a mortal infused with his immortal body, that's what started causing the shift in his immortality -ness. So I actually like the fact that it was explained that way, and it actually did make sense. So props to Dragon Ball Super. And and the animators for actually coming out with that idea without a doubt the funniest part is this is this is what i mean by just classic dragon ball z we see goku and vegeta they're both like yo we gotta fuse or at least we see goku he's like yo we gotta fuse we gotta fuse but then vegeta's like man hell no i'm not fusing like this was this reminded me of the movie a lot because we saw when goku he asked him to fuse against the fight versus chanimba he was like mm, nah i'm good and then we see him like begging goku just begging we have to we have to vegeta's facial expression like this was just amazing i actually did enjoy this part a lot because it was just again this just embodied dragon ball z vegeta and goku having to team up vegeta not wanting to combine his power with goku and look silly whether it be doing the potara earring because uh, he still didn't want to do it in z or whether it be with the whole fusion dance which he did in the fusion or in the filler and then once they finally do fuse we see vegeto come out vegeto listen I, I was one of the people who liked gogeta more than vegeto but at this point i realized I like them both equally like they're both the same people and Vegito he just had an epic fight with Zamasu so them trading back and forth and yo I can tell that the toy animation they this is why they don't do good animations for one piece <laughs> they said fuck this we're dumping all our money into Vegito versus Zamasu because this was on some battle of gods movie type quality them fighting back and forth the screen mo moving rotating around everything this was um, seriously like the animation clap it up because this was some of the best animation in Dragon Ball Super period like this was just amazing and dope with their fighting back and forth and then again the comedy part and again listen when they stopped the fight and was the monster started crying vegeto was over there like yo why you crying for a nigga like calm down like this is just more drag ball z comedy and last but not least we got trunks coming in and saving the day now i know this might not this might not sit well with a lot of people because a lot of people they don't like future chunks after this arc because they say he was too strong but for one it wasn't goku that was uh finishing the fight and two this was trunks's fight from the beginning it's only right that trunks finishes him off because they came to Trunks' world and they tried to uh they basically messed up Trunks' world so I'm actually happy that Trunks got the finishing blow but overall that's basically it for this little video do you guys think that it was good for Trunks to get the finishing blow or would you guys still like Goku and Vegeta to do it I know some people they might not like that Vegeta was